Morning everyone. I received a parcel a few weeks ago and it said do not open until Easter. Laugh out loud. Um, I knew who it was from because Amanda made a boo boo. She opened hers early. Naughty. Um, it was from Melissa, Mel Gibson. So, I have cut the side of it. And I'm just about to open it now. So, I'm going to tilt you down so you can see if my camera will play nice. There we go. Um, just before I open this, just to say when Jaden gets home from school today. I will post the results of my challenge. I have two first prize places at the moment. I am going to toss a coin and I'll do it live on film. So that you can see and you won't be, you won't know. I will write down on a paper whose heads and whose tails before I flip it. And then I will show you who was who. I can't decide between both. It's so hard. Then Jaden will draw the rest. I have my list of who I have entered and how many entries they have which was really at your own limits so there is a fair amount of entries going in um, what else was there? oh and Weekly challenge, the same challenge, I am extending until Friday for two reasons. One, I haven't had time to organise another theme for this week yet because Saturday I had lots of things going on in the house with my oldest. Sunday I was at my mum's from noon. Then we went to my sister-in-law's for a few hours. So I didn't go home till about half nine on Sunday night. Yesterday, myself and Ian and the boys and my niece and the dog went down to Girvan, which is um, in the west coast of Scotland. It's about maybe an hour, an hour and a half drive from us. And it was beautiful. An amazing day. Um, but we didn't again get home until quarter past nine last night. Was it? Yeah, but quarter past nine. Twenty past nine. So I was shattered. At the moment I'm not sleeping great. I think I had about maybe three and three and a half hours sleep on Saturday and Sunday. The same on Sunday and Monday. So I was shattered. Last night I got I think I had four and a half last night. Um feel a bit brighter today, but still not what I should be. Um so that's my plan is tonight when Jaden gets home about hmm, half three she should be in. So before four o'clock I will post the results of my challenge. Um for first prize. There'll be £30 put into your PayPal account or we can sort something out if you don't have a PayPal. Second prize is £20, I think. I'm sure that was what it was, £20. Third prize is a handmade jewellery kit from myself. You will get a pair of earrings, necklace and a charm bracelet. Whatever colours you prefer, it's up to you. 
Um, if you would like them quite small earrings, that's fine. If you like them long, not a problem. Same with your necklace. You tell me what length you like your necklaces and I will do that. If you want a beaded necklace, no problem. If you would prefer it with a pendant, again, not a problem. I personalise jewellery. I hate making jewellery without knowing the person is going to be able to enjoy wearing it. So you tell me it will be tailored to you. And fourth prize will be an embellishment kit. As you've seen, I got lots of beautiful laces in that another day. I have had a fair amount of um, flat backs and charms and things like that delivered. I have got a good assortment of flowers at the moment. I have quite a few papers in stock. And my wee stash. Um, so there will be a fair wee kit there for the. It'll be valued at at least ten pounds, um, but it could possibly be more. Um, so anyway, let's get back to this and opening this. Mel got so thoughtful, sweetheart. Just got the paper bow here, and excuse the colour of my nails, I've been cleaning this morning already. Bathroom's done. <laughs> um, paper bow, small paper rose, and two uh, 3D. What a five. I love these actually. I have, I think I've got two packs of them down the street. Oh, bit jumpy today. Um, I've got two packs of them down the street. I've got one in blues. I have one in green that aren't even open yet. And I have a blue one that is open and a pink one that's opened. Um, I just love them. And I do use them. I feel that. Oh, Mel. Look at that. You chocolate bunny. Oh. You want me to tell you that's the only. Easter egg, I got it. I don't do chocolate because it gives me migraines, but I do eat it, but I can only have little bits, so that's perfect. Normally, I just steal a wee corner off the vegans. <laughs> Look at that, wee chick. How cute is that? And it's got its wee Sunday Easter bonnet on. With a wee flower. Gorgeous smell. Go to here. Oh, bless you. Just get the two wee bits there, same photo here. Photo here, photo here. Just beautiful, Mel. Can't believe the amount of work you've been through doing this for everyone. It's such a wee doll. 
to Karen, wishing you a happy Easter love and hugs, Mel. Oh. Beautiful Melanie. Mel. Then I've done it again. Why did I do that? I think I've just got to call you Melissa now because any time I say Mel, I've got a friend that I was in school with who was called Melanie. And we all called her Mel. And I think that's what I'm doing. Because obviously I know you as Mel. I keep thinking Melanie in my head. And it's just rude. And I really don't mean it. Because I know exactly who you are. That is just beautiful. That can go off slightly bit. I'll tuck that back soon so that it doesn't fall off. Um, so there will be the challenge winners are announced before tea time tonight and I just want to say thank you to everyone who took part in it um, you really really did make a massive difference to me um, I'm going to put them in there just now and they can go in the fridge for myself um, he's made a massive difference to me, I'll tell you back up. Um, he's made a massive difference to me and to many others um, through my challenge. Sending little racks doesn't cost theirs, we all know that. And just a little something to open certainly makes a big big difference to a lot of people and you just saw that there from Mel it it makes you smile it really does and if we can keep that type of momentum going within our wee community you can't go wrong uh, the amount of people I've had who have Private messaged me and said, I've made a difference. It's heartwarming to, to know that leaving a comment or being at the other end of a private message to listen to somebody, it, it just, it's hard to put into words, but it means a lot to me. Especially because of my condition and feeling at times that the days are harder and harder. Knowing that folk have made that wee tiny bit of effort just to send a card or a wee note or just anything makes a difference. So I hope that this type of thing keeps going. Nothing major, just a little something makes a big difference. I do it quite a lot through my Facebook grieving group and it is just for folk who have lost someone and is looking for other people who are also bereaved um, to interact with each other and to try and support each other and just I send like a, a key ring or a phone charm nothing expensive it can go in a, an envelope and it costs me a first class stamp so 60 pence and that makes somebody stay and it's worth a lot more than that so please if 
if you're feeling down, make something, stick it in an envelope, slap a stamp on it, post it, and I promise you, within a day or two, when they receive that and they message you and say, thank you, you're going to feel better about you, knowing you've made a difference to someone else. Anyway, I'm going to go because that was a bit rubbish today. Um, this was meant to be about Melissa, not about me. <laughs> but thank you, and I hope you did all have a fantastic Easter. Um, but thank you. Melissa, you are an absolute diamond, and I totally adore you. I hope you had a fantastic Easter, and... When I'm over in Ireland, we come over on the 4th of July and we are staying until the 14th of July. So we can possibly try and meet up if that suits you. Um, I have spoken to you and we will try and drive over one of the days. Um, my mum and dad are over in Ireland at the same time as us, as us. They're over from the second. No, I'm a liar. No, that's right. They're over the second till the ninth, and we are over till the fourteenth. So once they're away, so between the ninth and the fourteenth, we'll pop through and see you. Um, don't know whether Geraldine or. Sandra, um, if there's anyone else in Ireland that wants to meet up, whether it's, I don't know, we're centralish, we'll be in Cam, which is in a show. I know Mel is on the coastline of Donegal. Um, and I know that Geraldine is I want to say Dublin. But yeah, I've got that wrong. I bet it's Belfast. But, um, so we'll try and organise that maybe. Um, for a while I'm over, if she's wanting to meet for a coffee or go for something to eat, Ian can take the wee ones to shop play or something and we can do a napper. Anyway, thank you again, Melissa, and I will speak to you soon. And hope the rest of you have a lovely morning. You will be sick of the sight of me before the end of the day because I've got a fair few videos to do. But, hey-ho. Right, take care for now and speak soon. Bye.